Hello, everybody. This is just going to be a quick um, show around of Ambardi and how I'm developing it on Intersect. I'm going to wait for a couple of more betas to get um, passed through uh, before I think I go back to the tutorial series. Um, they're really doing some awesome things to that. Uh, so let's uh, just get right down to it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, log into Ambardia as it's being built in Intersect. And you guys will get to see, you know, um, how I've really taken the engine. Uh, I don't care about the engine restraints. I work around the restraints. I make, I make, I make the engine work for me. Uh, so let, let's see what we've got going on here. Okay, I'll log right on in. <clears throat> and we got a beautiful little world of uh, Ambardia here. This is the Start Island. Let's see, I'll go ahead and fill this massive volume in a little bit. Okay, I think that should be a lot better. So the day-night cycle is just fantastic. Really loving the day-night cycle. Uh, my lighting. You know, I'm going to take this even further. I'm going to end up making these animated globes, different colors, kind of like a spinning magical kind of thing. I've done a little bit of that with a portal here. Very excited how that's working out. My lamps are glowing good. Let's see here. So yeah, let me give you a little tour here. This is our portal here. Now, this is my test quest guy. I've been testing the new quest system lately. Click on this. It should pop up a quest. Here, we'll go to our quest editor, our quest dialogue here. We've got the Orb of Power. I'm working on that one. That's going to be the main quest uh, where you go get an item to, to uh, get off this island. Every area of my world requires you to finish a quest to be able to move on to the next area of the world, which is really kind of cool. You can drag these things around, which are great. I customize, I customize everything. So we'll go back. We've got the test quest here. We'll abandon it and start it over. So I should start over. Boom. There we go. The test quest. Quest option. This is the window for the test quest. Decline doesn't seem to work exactly. I'm not sure what's up with that. I think somebody's mentioned it in the forums. They'll get it fixed. Hit accept. Uh, when you go on here, then it will show that you've got the test quest is yellow. That means it's in progress. The orb of power hasn't been started yet because I don't even have a starter NPC yet to get that going. But we can see here that um, in our test quest, uh, our tasks are to kill two rabbits. So let's go do that. Let's go, let's go see how uh, our test quest is. Working. And as you can see, day has, has come up now. You can see everything real nice. The lamps have seemingly gone off. Get in here. <clears throat> let's kill us some rabbits. Boom. Test quest completed. So I only killed one. I'll have to go in there and mess with the uh, editor to see what's going on with, the, uh, with that. But, Completed description, quest completed, completed description. I haven't really, I haven't put any descriptions or in, in it or anything. So that's cool. So we finished that quest. I don't know what we got. Uh, we'll get much more involved with that at a later date. That, again, was just a quick test of the uh, quest systems. Um, we got my shop guy here. He's cool. Get in here, buy you some items. Bring by your uh, dark item. I don't have a whole lot of stuff. Pickaxe and stuff. Let me see what I've got in my inventory. So, my inventory, I've got a fishing pole, a blue pearl, fish. I've got some fish, a god sword, a, uh, the cool thing. There, you guys want to see me fish? Let's go fish. I need to get my fishing pole on the paper doll. I don't think the paper doll is all set up yet either. So, here you just hit it. Oh, yeah, with the new combat system, also with your with your quest, your, uh, I'm sorry, your skill um, resources. I'm going to have to work on that, too, to get them. That takes, that's taking way too long to get that, complete that skill there. All right, and I didn't get a fish that time, but, you know, sometimes I'll catch a fish like these guys right here. 
Uh, let's move on up. Oh, let's go to um, mining. Mining is much more exciting. We just got mining set up. And I'm not, we're we're going to go into the editor too. I'm going to show you some things that I've been doing. It would be nice if you could just hold the button down and continue instead of having to constantly click. You probably can't even hear me because I have to click so much. In the old Ambardia game, people used to complain about how sore their fingers would get. It would be nice if they could keep that in mind uh, so that <clears throat> we can kind of save our fingers. We'll put a lamp over just really dark in the mining area. Yeah, so we'll, I gotta go in and adjust the weapon power, or the item power, tool power for this thing. It's gonna take so long. There we go. And there we go. And I picked up some gold, I think. I don't have them set for ores or anything yet. Um, I've got my bank down here. It's pretty cool. My god sword. And I got my paper doll from a god sword, so uh, nothing else really. Boom, bang, and get all kind of various different things and stuff. Um, the, uh, the hatchet is cool. That works. Let's see. Let's go in here and get our hatchet. Okay, equipped. So our hatchet's equipped. Uh, let's go chop down a tree. And see that. <clears throat> the sword is set as my hatchet for right now, too, as a paper doll. So no Chopping down a tree, chopping down a tree, chopping down a happy tree. The tree was happy, the tree's not as happy anymore. And, uh, the tree is dead, there's some logs on the ground. I'll stand on them, pick them up, pick them up. There we go, now I got happy little tree logs in my description, in my, my inventory here. So yeah, really cool. Now another thing I've been working on, oh, by the way, when, you, when you're administrator, if you hold down your shift button and right click your mouse, warp around the map like this. Makes it easy for editing and stuff. Of course, if you're a, a regular player, you won't be able to do this, but uh, very handy for getting around real quick. But uh, anyway, I've started mapping the mainland of Ambardi. I'm working too much on the mainland because I want to make the island the perfect. Like, if the island becomes perfect, everything else should become perfect and really concentrate on uh, remapping some stuff. So. There we go. Um, I'm on the mainland now. Uh, we can go cruising past. I got my little globes glowing and everything. It looks great. It's slowly starting to happen. I mean, it took it took four long years to really fully develop Ambardia um, before you know we were even happy with all of that. And we got a ship down here. Not too big, big of a deal. We got a shift click up here. I got my first uh, <clears throat> dates, I think, up here. Yeah, they're just placeholders for now. I can just walk through them like this. There's our, uh, yeah. So, anyway, that's Ambardia started off. And we are going to, let's just go ahead and get out of here and go to the editor. I'll show you guys some of the stuff I've been, cool stuff I've been doing in the editor. Uh, let's see. Mm -hmm. All right, log in, and here's our editor. Okay, so, um, what can I show you guys first? Um, my resource editor. So here's the resources. Alder wood cut, spruce cut, cedar cut. These are all just different skills you can do. Um, at first, I didn't like there being so many skills. Like, and woodcut, I would like for woodcut to have been all bunched up into one woodcutting skill as opposed to having to make it for each each tree. Um, but I actually, you know, I think I like it better for each tree, uh, ultimately. It's a little more work. i got to make more tools, so forth, yada, yada, yada. Uh, but I don't know. It adds another dimension in the game. It's a skill-heavy game. So Ambardi always has been skill-heavy, quest-heavy game and people seem to like that so why change up something people like something you should never do is change up something people like if your players say they like that keep it you know if your players are constantly asking you about something they'd like to see try to make it happen of course keep balance in your game but you know you really got to listen to your players and i've got players out there playing right now i've got people in Lambardia. 
Uh, I've only got two people playing Ambardia right now. We had five people playing Ambardia earlier today. That's, that's pretty awesome considering I'm running an older version, a uh, more stable version of Ambardia EO. Uh, but what's great is, is that I'm going to port Ambardia right on over into Intersect, and I'm getting those players who are playing Ambardia right now live, the, the, the one that's actually an MMO, um, they're telling me things that are quirky about the game, things we can do to make Ambardia run smoother, and all that's going to be added in the intersect. So these guys are my my testers, and I value them. You can you can see some of this action going on on the Ambardia Facebook page if you happen to go there. Anyway, so not really, you know, I just kind of wanted to show you guys some of the things you could do. Let me show you my tile sets. So that's kind of exciting. Um, you could you can drag your tiles to the right like this. My tiles. Uh, another thing that JC told me was that you want to try to keep your tile dimensions square. So all my tiles are uh, maxed out. I forgot what the maximum is. 512 by 512 or something. It might be mine might be 12 something by 12 something, but you don't want tile sets that are 300 by 1,200 or, you know, you want to keep your tile sets in nice, even squares. And they lay that out. There's a place in the forums that explain that, but uh, there is a maximum size for the tiles. If your tiles are huge, you're going to have huge problems. So you need to keep them down to a certain size, but it's great. You know, I get in here. Uh, this is how I build all my islands right here. You know, you know, I, I don't like auto tile. I hate auto, uh, auto tiles. To me, are just a complete waste of time. I like more control. It takes might take a little longer to map, but I have more control of how I map. I want to use my own kind of custom tiles and stuff like that. Here's all the tiles I have so far. A lot of these tiles right here, they're tests. I'm slowly, you know, like this right here. That's of course not not going to be a publishable tile set. It's just something I'm working on. Um, some of them are really cool. Uh, portal Castle set. This is one I'm slowly working on to get the portals and lights and stuff set up. It looks more like Castle Amber. And these are cool. I'm, you know, again, I'm having, I am having a blast working on in the Intersect game engine. It's just really proven to be a, an easy engine to port over all my graphics uh, to get. You know my animations and everything to work. Um, I'm really excited uh, about where Intersect is going. I have no doubt that it's going to be it's going to far surpass the Eclipse versions, the EO versions, whatever. Um, but this is going to move on to be a real game changer. Uh, this weekend, I've tried several times in the past years to purchase free 2dgamemaker.com and for some reason it's always been parked or something i just happened to be up the other night at three in the morning and just checked it and lo and behold i have purchased free 2dgamemaker.com i plan to make it a huge portal for old school type 2d uh, game enthusiasts even unity has come out with a part of their end game engine where you can uh, uh create a whole game in 2d uh, it, you know, the, the whole love of you know, back to the original. The 3D stuff is really great. And by the way, I own free 3D Game Maker too. Uh, but I, I'm way dedicated to 2D stuff. And, you know, I think I think people, you know, the 3D stuff is really great, but the more real it gets, the, the more uh, it just takes away your, you know, delusion of fantasy or your, you want to get in and have a fun little time with game. And a lot of 2D games are coming up and getting more popular. So we'll see how that goes. But anyway, these are my tile sets. Uh, a lot of fun things with these. I've really enjoyed. Uh, oh, and a shout out to uh, Rainier Prokian. He uh, has a 2D website that he has had for 15 or 20 years now where he's designed just ten, just thousands of 2D um, tile sets and sprites and images and stuff. And a lot of my, uh, a lot of my graphics derive from Rainier um, tile sets. Uh, so yeah, he is a, he's kind of a god when it comes to 2D tile sets. 
But uh, yeah, that's about it. I don't want to waste too much time babbling. We'll come out with something else. Maybe I'll do a short video, and when I get ready to make a new quest or something like that, I'll run through it just kind of live like this. And I'm thinking about maybe trying to twit, do the Twitch thing, but I don't know. We'll see how it goes. I well, uh, hope you guys have a good night, and we'll we'll talk to you all later. Have a good night.